So we finished at this point where we knew, well, which software Homestead includes, what it is, what Vagrant is, and so on. But not only is it important to know how to install it because we want to use it, it also helps understanding how all these pieces work together once you've set it up. So let's do this. What we will need is Vagrant, so we may just follow this link here. And we will also need either VirtualBox or VMware. And these are the programs, the tools, which actually create and run the virtual machines. I will choose VirtualBox here. Now on the respective websites, you just download the software like VirtualBox for your operating system, OSX in my case. And I'll do the same for Vagrant where I choose this subtle download button here to get to the download section and also download it for your operating system. Now this might take a couple of seconds and I will see you once this is finished. So my download just finished and now I'm able to, well, first run VirtualBox. Get it over here. Just run this package here. And next I'll just follow through the installation here. That really isn't too difficult. So let's finish this. Now once this is done, I can close this and I will run the Vagrant installation and it works the same way as the virtual box installation just did. Let me get this over here too. Run extract this package here and then just run well the installer here. Again I have to enter my password here so I do this and with that good to go. So now we got VirtualBox and Vagrant install. The next step is to install Homestead or to bring in Homestead, which really just, as I said before, is this pre-configured box. Though also we later will have to install another part of Homestead, which allows us to easily configure parts of that pre-configured box. Because the box itself, yes, it is pre-configured, it is it contains the software, your operating system and the software which should run there. But we are able to change certain parts of the default configuration in a separate config file. But you will see this. So next, the, well, first the next step is to add this Laravel Homestead box to Vagrant, which is the provisioning system in, in the end. And I do this in the command line by running Vagrant box add and then Laravel Homestead. And yeah, this will now just install Laravel Homestead. And I have to choose which, well, virtual provider I, I use. So I use VirtualBox here, of course, so just enter one. And now this will download this box. And well, this has quite some size because remember it has a complete operating system included and much more. And therefore this will take a couple of minutes and I will see you once this is finished. So my setup just finished here. And the next step is to actually download the Homestead initializer, so to say, which will set up the basic configuration Homestead needs to actually start this box, this uh, Homestead box. And with configuration, I mean not software on this box, but how basically Vagrant, the virtual machine, and our local machine works together, which databases we have in our virtual machine and so on. But I will go into more detail about the configuration of our Vagrant box in a future video. So how do we then install this configuration? Basically, we get the command here. So we clone the GitHub repo here, with, which includes this Homestead configuration. And I do this in the folder where I want to have my well, my homestead config. This is not necessarily the folder where your projects will live in, but what I do is I will have my homestead folder on the same level where I will then have my different project folders or other subfolders. But this is my personal preference. You may install it where you want. However, it is important that you will start your virtual machine with the command vagrant up 
from within this folder. So place it somewhere where you remember where it is. So I'm now navigated into this folder, this PHP folder in my case, and in here I will run git clone, then the link I just copied, and then I will name my homestead folder, well, homestead. And this clones it into this folder. Now here's an important note for Windows users. To follow along with all these commands, I execute a terminal here. I recommend that you download git bash, which is basically a tool which allows you to do just that. Run the same commands I run here on my Mac OS or on a Linux machine on Windows. And this will make it far easier for you to follow along. And I will base this video on the assumption that you are able to follow along with these commands. So I cloned this into this folder and next I will, well, move into this homestead folder. And in there, what I will do is I will then uh, run with the bash tool this init shell script, which copies some basic initialization files and yeah, sets up homestead configuration the way we need it. With this, we're almost ready to run everything, but I want to first navigate to the folder where the actual config file will be stored. This is the root user folder. And in here, I got my home state YAML file. And this is just a text file in the end where, well, the configuration takes place. Now I will go over this file in the next video. However, what is important, Vagrant or the virtual machine maps a certain folder to a folder on your local machine to keep the file synchronized because otherwise you would have a problem because of course you want to develop on our local machine with our local IDEs, for example, but we want to, exec, to execute, to access these files through a browser, for example, if we're creating a website, but these files then have to be on the virtual machine because this machine has the server, right? So how do we get our locally developed files on that machine? And the great thing is Wagrant has this synchronized folder concept where files in this folder will be automatically copied, so to say, into the virtual machine so that all the changes we do in our local machine will be reflected in the virtual machine. And therefore we can develop locally, but test on the virtual machine. And this is what we do here with the folders key here. We define which local folder, the map key, we want to map to which virtual folder to. Now the virtual folder for me is fine, home vagrant code is okay, but I don't code in the code folder, I code to show this in the finder. I'm here in my root user folder under development, then PHP for PHP projects, and then either tutorials or projects. So I want to have this PHP file as my root folder to be synchronized. And in order to do this, I will map this here from, well, development, PHP. And you replace this path which, with whichever path you need from your root file on down to the file where your actual projects will, will sit in. And you may either map this to one single project or like I do here, to a folder which contains several projects. So this maps this folder. However, this alone won't allow me to run applications in the browser. I will have to map my sites here too. This will make sure that my files are synchronized with the machine, but in order to access my, my websites there, I have to tell Vagrant or Homestead to which projects certain URLs should relate. And I can do this here by, let's say I want to have my Laravel basics tutorial. I will use .dev as an ex extension, but you may choose whatever you want here. And now this home vagrant code file is okay because this is the virtual machine path where my projects sit in. Now here, again, we're on the virtual machine like we were here. But this part here is wrong because if we have a look at my structure here, this home vagrant code file relates to this PHP folder here. Now in there, I have my tutorials, I have YouTube, and then for example here, Laravel basics. 
So if I want to map this project, what I will do is I will replace Laravel here because the public folder should stay the same because our index.php will always be the public folder in Laravel, in Laravel projects. So what I will do here is I will replace Laravel with tutorials and then YouTube and then Laravel basics. So tutorials, YouTube, Laravel basics. And this will make sure that I'm mapping my actual project to this URL on the virtual machine. Now I will close this and now I have an additional step to do. In order for this to work in my browser, I also have to create a mapping on my local machine from, well, the URL I want to use to the IP of the virtual machine. And this IP, well, you could see it in this Homestead YAML file here at the very top. This is the IP we will need. So I will do this next. I do this by running sudo nano. Sudo is required on Mac to get, well, access to this. Nano is a little text editor, command line text editor. And then I want to ed edit my etc hosts file. Now on Windows, Laravel's got you covered. If you scroll down and down and down here, the hosts file, you'll find a description where to find the hosts file on a Windows machine. What we basically do in this file is we can map IPs to certain domain names, which we then can enter in the browser. We don't have to do this. This is the IP from the YAML file, but of course it's easier to type a domain name into the browser than this IP. Just make sure to not bind a domain here, which might serve an actual website like google.com, for example, because then you would not be able to access this page anymore. So here I will then map this IP to Laravel basics dot dev, and then I access, uh, exit with control X, press Y to save it and enter again. Now with this still in my homestead folder where I cloned the git repository into, I can now run Vagrant up to start my virtual machine based on the configuration I set up here. And this will take a couple of seconds and I will be back once it is finished. So this is finished for me. You may ignore this red warning here or error that is nothing too bad. And now I can access this page under Laravel basics.dev. And as you can see, here is my page. So this has been the installation, how to set it up. The next video will have a look at how to configure it and how to, for example, access the database from our local machine and how to run artisan commands, for example.